Boundary session is a very, very popular and uh, mostly discussed among scholars, uh, policy makers, and also politicians. And uh, today we are so lucky to have uh, our panelists on stage are from East Asian country. Uh, we can say that uh, all uh, important country in East Asia. Uh, before I start uh, my session, I would like to introduce myself. My name is uh, Ken Pier. I am the Director General of the International Relations Institute of Cambodia, and I will be serving as moderator of this session. Uh, in our session, there will be uh, four speakers from Cambodia, uh, from uh, Korea, from China, and from Japan. And I will call upon a speaker uh, of uh, according to the their their name based on the uh, alphabet, uh, alphabetical uh, order, uh, I would like to uh, introduce our speakers. Our first speaker is uh, Dr. Yong Po, Secretary General of the Royal Academy of Cambodia. Please join me to welcome him. The second speaker is uh, Mr. Sang Dok, Minister Consular of the Embassy of the Republic of Korea. Uh, since this morning, he has a general uh, mission. mission mission Uh, Mr. Uh, Futoshi Mishimoto, First Secretary of the Embassy of Japan, join me to welcome him. And our last speaker is Mr. C. J. Wei, Director of Political Office of the Chinese Embassy in Cambodia. Yes. I would like to inform that uh, our session we will have around uh, one hour and 50 minutes. So each panelist will be provided uh, between 15 and uh, 20 minutes. So you can manage your time. We will have uh, display the, your time during your speech. You can see the time uh, uh, offered to each panelist. And we will have uh, 30 minutes for Q&A session and I will remind you uh, in two minutes uh, before your speech uh, will end. Okay, before giving the floor to the speaker, I would like to touch upon some background of our uh, session. As you know that the Bell and Road Initiative, it is a very uh, important topic that have been discussed uh, among scholars, uh, policy makers, politicians, and especially also the diplomat like uh, this morning uh, conference, I think it is also very important uh, that we have a very important speaker from East Asia, uh, the country uh, that play very important role in uh, global order as well. BOI or Bell and Road Institute was uh, introduced by Chinese uh, President Xi Jinping in uh, 2013. It was consider a giant economic and infrastructure projects. It also offers China a great opportunity to expand its political, diplomatic, and economic influence in the world, and in particular in Asia. However, I think China also bears a bigger burden, more responsibility in new global order. Along with uh, BRI, uh, China initiated the establishment of uh, Asian uh, Infrastructure Investment Bank, uh, AIIB, and Regional Comprehensive Economic uh, Partnership, uh, OSEP, is also, uh, we can say, it's a mega trade, uh, free trade uh, agreement. Again, this backdrop, uh, we can notice that US and alliances. Um, help also introduce a number of strategies and initiatives and frameworks, including uh, Indo-Pacific uh, ports, uh, orcas, and uh, other initiatives like uh, Indo-Pacific Economic uh, Framework, IPEP, uh, that will be discussed uh, the following sessions. In session two and uh, session three, we're going to hear something about IPEP, about OFAP, uh, 
uh, and many more uh, to be offered. Uh, China, BRI, and the U.S. Uh, led into Pacific strategy present as a two competing global forces, and uh, most of the country also uh, worry uh, worry about this initiative and also uh, get benefit from these two initiatives as well. And in the panel, we have uh, the the three uh, the three country from East Asia. I think Japan, Japan is the one of the most uh, uh, supporter of the Indo-Pacific strategy and Japan also developed uh, its own uh, strategy. It's called Free and Open Indo-Pacific, uh, introduced by uh, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And uh, it is also very important in the region as well. And, and for the Republic of Korea, uh, the new Southern policy, I think something that related to the strategy as well, but the new president maybe introduced another initiative uh, for uh, formulating a new uh, Republic of Korea foreign policy, maybe the new thing that we can uh, get benefit from that. And China's is, uh, BRI is, is very important. So uh, without any further delay, I now uh, move along our session. Uh, please welcome me to welcome uh, Dr. Yong Po, Secretary General uh, of the Royal Academy of Cambodia. You will have uh, 15 to 20 minutes for your speech, please. Ba, Arun Sussadai Mbang Tiet. Doi Ban Chim Viet Chu Nong Ba Ku Kiyom ຕັ້ງມີບັດບັນຫານ <coughs> ជួបរួមប្រធានបទរបស់ខ្ញុំគឺទស្សនវិស័យកម្ពុជាចំពោះការប្រជែងអតិពលភូមិសាស្ត្រនយោបាយរបស់មហាអំណាចសំទោសរ
ัมพงตาอังรูนไปพบโลกได้ปีมลมาสาเทียนนะชนกัมพูชีมันใส่สกอตี้ภูมิสันโยบายนั่งมันใส่สกอตมันใส่ชาปรามมันละหายยังรู้นักน้องไปพบโลกมุ้ยได้เหมือนใส่ยศอันปีมหามนาฉันมหาชนกัมพูชีได้มันตกมหามนาเย่จำยังไงอยู่มหามนาดีละอมหานาเนี่ยกระแต่จะพูดชมมหามนาโดยเนี่ยมีเอเยาหมดมหามนาคือโดยเนี่ยโดยแต่ขยมยีนักน้องโกดาวจ้าบอกว่านึงโกดาวจ้ามหามนาคือครุกรองไปพบโลกถ้าโยนหลับปนึงปนใต้ปีที่ครุกรองไปพบโลกยังไหมเซิงเซิงเนี่ยประจำโลกมันยังไหมจันยังไหมดูซียังไหมบ่ายืนนั่งกระเจี๊ยบต่อเตียงฉันถ้าดังท่านี่ชี้เอเยาหมดมหามนาตกครองไปพบโลกตามระเบียบกิจการทางการประเจนภูมิสารโยบายบ่าประเจนภูมิสารโยบายนี่คือจิตกาประเจนอำนาจในโยบายอันตรายจิตอำนาจรอดนักน้องในโยบายอันตรายจิตแต่ไม่ประเจนอธิปโลกนี่ฉันกาประเจนขณีนี้บ้านจังอัลบังฮานไปคละฮะโดยจีจังอัลบังฮานตะรอนเดลรอดตรงเสายังหาทารอดตรงเสายหรือรอดโต้ทีหอการมีชีวิตดาวนี่ชอบมันฉันบ่อยยืนอัดโยต์เต้ยืนหนึ่งรองสมเปียนหนึ่งกาไปเชยหนึ่งเพราะฉะนั้นยังเท่าตัวโยต์โดยเนี่ยสำหรับรัฐบาลเลิกหายกาไปเชยสำคัญนักร้องไปบอดนี้มาหามนัดบังกาดรัชนาสมควรภูมิสังโยบายทำไมทำไมเปรคละรัชนาสมควรนี่ยังเมื่อตั้งวิจิตรเศรษฐกิจตีวิจิกาช่วยสังครัวตะเลอสกปรกสาธิตนะไอตีกับมันแท้บวกยมเมอร์เคยคือกาไปเชงภูมิสารโยบายอุติห์อสมัยโอบามาควัดไพรวอตทูเอเซียบ่าทีพีพีบวกควัดเติมมาดาวทรัมป์อเมริกันเฟิร์สนะอเมริกันเฟิร์สซีจินปิงมาเป็นแต่ควัดลายมาวบีออไอดลควัดไอเตลตพบวกสเพลย์โซดวิทยาโซดอุปกรณ์คอนเวิร์ตเตอร์ชีเบลแอนโรดเอเนสติวคือสายกับวัดหนึ่งเพลย์กับนัดกุยตามสายกับวัดเพลย์ฉันขดาวโยปีพบโลกจับปีมหาสมบัติปาสิกมหาสมบัติดีปวดโยเตอร์ลาโฮดอลมาชมบุปีนั่งอาซีกันดาวเฉดดาวก็ถ้านั่งชีเพลย์โซดกวาดติมอนเหมาสกวาดเทวตามต่อปวดตาตอนฉันสารบิกเนี่ยฟังบงบงมันใส่ชาปรามที่บ้าดูสิน้องตรัมอเมริกันฟุ้งตุบตุลหนึ่งปัญหาบีออไอนี่บ้าการน้อยยังดังเฮยสังเครียมปนิจกรรมบ้าขยมไปหาจีมันมีนอาธาริบายชราอันนี้มาองค์การเลือนนะต่อไปยังยังต้องการเลือนมาอย่างท้าโจบายดันนี้กวาด BCW Build Back Better World มาฉันกวาดเธอเธอใหม่มีในท่า Pivot to Asia กับกราดแรงเว่ยฉันอันดูปัสสาวะได้โปรโมทพนมทุนเทียนสำคัญสำคัญนั่งมหาปฏิเสธนั่งดำบันปัสสาวะนั่งมหาสมบัติอันเดียคืออันเดียนี่ไงฉันมีนอันเดียมีนไอ้ตัดจมูกขี้นั่งคือฉันปมพมมหาปฏิสังหารนั่นคือทุนเทียนแต่งทุนเทียนเศรษฐกิจทุนเทียนโยธีทุนเทียนมนุษย์ชราอันจังชราอันจังจังก็เป็นชราอันจังตุบจมูกดีอายให้ไปเยี่ยมบุญนั้นเมื่อมูทานตอบในเรื่องพิภพโลกในปฏิสังขารขันอส่งรูปการตั้งสไลด์ติบใบย่อมใจดำในอายสไลด์ติบใบมูบัตรประเจงมามูทานตัวมหามนาจงเป็นมีพบโลกสารดำริกเมียนเจ็ดผมใบรอยตีตังนะผมไปรอยแต่ยมบานมือไอกสารนี้เนื้อเลือดแปดสับตีอังเคลเมียนมารอยสายสับพรำรูสีสามสับจันพรำไอชิดามมาฉันนี่มหามนาสุทาตาที่ดัดตัวเนื้อเนื้อบัตรตีตามใบเจ้าเนี่ยครอนดักการมีเชียร์จังอาบิวอดไฮเรียมเนี่ย
จะไม่บานต่อแปะปอนมหาอำนาจไม่กดใช้แต่เจี๊ยมหาอำนาจคลังเลยเนี่ยนั่งวิญญาณไหมจังสารามริกในไอ้เมกิดนั่งมหาปฏิสังขารนั่งอามริกชราจิงเกย์ใบดองบ่าในขยมครานแต่เลิกล้างที่ให้กิดลวนไอ้ตึงคลายที่บุญบ่าเอ่อโกดาวจ้านั่งหยดสักไม่รบมหาอำนาจบ่าขยมเย่สังขารไปเจ้าโกดาวจ้าบอกกอดดูขยมมันปราบไปดามตีคือการกรุบกรองไปพบลงเรียกยุดสาธมัยกอดเตยแต่รอกวิธีสาธมัยทำไมได้ทำไมเชียงสังเกียมแต่เจ้าแต่กอดในเย่ท่ามันเอาสังเกียมเจ้าการล้างวิ่งเต้โบวิอังร่วนไปพบโลกไปเทอบ้าไปพบโลกครั้งนะปัญไตเอริยาบอนนกนงกาไปเชิงคือสังเกียมแต่เจ้ามาดองมาก้าวกอดท่านไหนกองกองทรนี่ไหนกองกองทรนุ่มมากองทรขยมจับใจจังอะนายกมโจนี่นายกมโจนุกจังนี่เชี่ยยุทธศาสตร์ทำไมมุ้ยตามมาเยอะไปใช้เชี่ยปรามีนตามเยอะเศรษฐกิจตามเยอะปฏิจกรรมตามเยอะการตุ้ดประมมาแต่งอ๋อประมพดมดำใบบุ๋มรายุทธศาสตร์นี่มาได้ขนมลูกขยมมันกระทายุทธศาสตร์ทำไมบากวัดคือเธอไอไอก้าวปูผมใบรวบรวมนังกาปีดำใบพาวไปยาวกรมยืนมาคมยืนปัญหาประชามีไอ้คลายืนดังต่างอ๊อกคนนี้บาดเลือกชราทิ้งตีมุ้ยย้อมโยธากากับนัดอัตนัยเข้าคนนี้ระเวียงในโยบายจันแต่มวยบ่าเหมือนเคยแต่งรูปเพียบมาเสตงสิจินปิงโจบายดันริชาดิสันเพโลซีนังสายวันนี้บแต่งนั้นบ้านมันเจ้าอัมพีอัตตนัยข้อคืนี้ในนโยบายจันทร์ไทยมวยอัตตนัยข้อคืนนี้น้อมอเมียนกาดัดโรลกุมติเจบ่าดามใบเองบ่าลิซันเตอร์จันทร์นายชนามจัสปีต่างปิงตอนเมียนตูจมวยคืนนี้เองดามใบชงพดามในนโยบายจันทร์ไทยมวยแต่กลายมาก็เทไทยตนี้เพียบรูเรียนนั่งรุ่งริจิมราในวัดไต้หวันผ่องได้ขณะจันกระทาไต้หวันชี้ด่านใดก่อนจังกระไหลนี่ขยมช่องบำเพ็ญเหมือนใต้ท่าระเวียงไต้หวันหนึ่งกะระนัยอุยครานคือเขาคณีห้าอุยอุยครานจีรอดไอ้กรีดมุ้ยรูสีไวเตอร์เชลียนเปียนรอดไอ้กรีดมุ้ยรีไอ้ไต้หวันจันนาตาตึกใดก่อนจังบอกจันสังครบเยอะเปลนุภูมิสารโยบายสันดาปนอภิภพลุกแช่ของมันแต่ฉันมีหมู่ฐานฐานนั้นได้เฉยมันได้ไปเชื่อมลบมันพร้อมตีบัดจราจรบัดได้สมบัติมหาสมบัติฉันขังทบงปัญหาสำหรับก่อนว่าฉันกิดชิมวยขณีมหาสมัครปาสิกเชี่ยจงรกในกาปเจงยุทธศาสตร์บ่าสำคัญนะผู้ดำบรรนี่บ่มราอัยพาลวิยาวแต่งเสตกันนิเวชาสไลพิบนิเวชาการศึกษาสราวชิวยุทธศาสตร์ยุทธภูมิศาสตร์ดักเชียวมันเลิกในที่นี้คือสำคัญนะบ่าอันนี้ขยมจำลองเจนปีไอกษาบอสไวฮาวติไอ้นี่เออมีในทางเกิดจีพอบลิกจีเสรีโจมือน้องกุดกอลจังอันมีการแหละบางไอ้ที่ในพิซซาร์บอโจบายดันนั้นขวบบ่าขยมันเลิกขวบมันติดเปียปอนนั่งยูรันไตรจุปอนส่งต่อตัดมวยเตี๋ยตัดสายมวยเตี๋ยตัดสุกะปัดบานยีธานเอไปจุมทั้งไงมาไปบุญกัญญาปีกวนมาไผ่มวยนุ๊กประเทศบุญได้ประกันยกกุนดำไลจิมูทานโดยขณีทวีกาสระบัติการรวมขณีดำใบบุปผาในกาสมรจหอยบานเนปรปอนเรียบร้อยอันตรายมวยได้เมียนเล็กหนักเสรีบางจมหอไอเลอร์นิเตรอตนักนงดำบอลอินดูปาซิฟิกบ่านี่ชี
นโยบายอันตรายที่หล่อสมรัมบำบัดในดูปาสิกประสนบายยืงบานอาจอนวัตบานแบบดูชนะบ่าปัญหาจำพวกย่อมมหามนาคเนื้อแต่พระรูปเพียบไหมนำใบเกียงโกจังก้าวในบันดาลสำหรับกาประเจนภูมิสังโยบายสกอลปัจจุบันตั้งมุ่ยเทียดสไลน์มุ่ยเทียดบานบางแห่งชมโยปีวีเอมาตีอัมพีกาเลิกลังระบาดกองทัพนิวเนวีจึงตักระบาดสารดัมริกอัมพีกาในสมัตเรียมไอชิดามบ่าตัวเชียคางกามเชียบอสไลน์มาดองเชียปีดองบอสไลน์ชราดองนอมเนี่ยกระสายตะมือเทียดก่อนท้ายนั่งตาเชียมันเติลนั่งตาด่าสมัตกรรมท่ากลายนั่งจันตังตียังไม่ไอยังไม่บ่านี่คือเชียสมาตกรรมทำไมเด็กยมจัดโจนงหยุดสักทำไมกูดาวจานงดาวบ๊ายบายใจขานาขางนานาขางนาเวชบ้าให้ดาวนั้นเด็กยมหาท่าชีกาจังอลบังฮานเด็กนงอยู่บายกาบอตีมาเอาฮะเช่นโจเตียสนาสายสมเจริญสายสาวมันอัดเคยจะเลิกช่องพังอ่าพรามตีแทมออกคนชราสมเจริญอันดูพันสิบกระดอยบีออไอกระดอยวิเชียสินายโยอาณาจักรในยุทธภูมิศาสตร์อาณาจักรในยุทธภูมิศาสตร์จีออสราจิตเรียมสายกับวัดกาพีชิตระบอมหามนายสายกับวัดกาพีพาวยาวก็พามนายนะยังไงสกอร์อะไรนึงบ่าฉันยังอัดตัวเขานั่งมาห้ามนายประกาศไอประกาศไอเต้ให้ยังก็อัดตัวเขานั่งมาห้ามนายที่จำรานได้แต่ยังเท่าที่จำรานบุยก้อนฉันก็เท่าได้ประดาวยังที่จำรานได้แม้ท่าเอ๋ยไอ้ไม่เท่าที่จำรานมั่วนู้ไอ้ไม่เท่าที่จำรานมั่วนี้อะไรยังเท่าที่จำรานจะบุยก้อนได้เรื่องไอ้อะไรตัวก้อนที่จำรานจังกวาดประกาศไอ้ประกาศเต๋อแต่ตกลมห่อเอายังรีจิมรานอาลมห่อยังรีจิมรานนั่งยังยิ่งชราอันเตี้ยเตี้ยอสมตุนยิ่งชราอันเตี้ยจิมเนียนชราอันเตี้ยนี่ยิ่งชราอันเตี้ยแต่เจ้าชราอันเตี้ยบานรอลมห่อรีจิมรานจิมวยมหามนาจบานโดนยิ่งเป็นนิ่งเช่นบ่ยังมันดังเต้ยังจำนัดนะนะมหามนาจนิ่งเช่นมหามนาจนิ่งเช่นอะไรมหามนาจรีจิมรานต่างอ่ะประมาณนี้สมบัติของรีจิมรานพ่อผมรีจิมรานทำอะไรไอ้นี่เอาไว้ยืนช่างบานบ่าบัญชีหายพอดเนื้อสังเครียดแต่เจ็บทำไมก้มบังคำไม้ประเทศตรงสายเมียนเชื่อหรือไอ้ตอนนั้นนี่ไอ้ตอนนั้นนี่บ่าชี้เวียงอันนี้จังมหามนายที่จำรานช่างปัญตาก้มจังอ้อยบังฮานเอาประเทศตรงสายเชื่อหรือส้มเอาเกลี่ยจำรานพองบ่าปีจำรานจะมวยพองเยื่อรีจำรานในจงบุพีในอาศีอาคณีก็ก็รีจำรานเงี้ยนังรีจำรานเงี้ยนังเริงบอมเศรษฐกิจการมจีการตะการล้างกุจีปรัตการมจีการตะจายวิ่งติงตูสับไอโฟนเชงม้าตอนดังน้ำกับมังตังวิโรงจักบัดหันยักษ์ละเจ้าบอดการมจีรีจำรานตัวติงใส่การมจีตัวจีปฏิบัติเกิดตัวติงใส่ลุกใส่บางชั้นตัววิ่งตัวหมอกตัววิ่งตัวหมอกบ่าปังรังปล่อยจากผู้อาเซียนยิงเท้าตายอามันมันมีนซาปอมมีนซูได้เท้าตายปังรังมาจากเพียบอาเซียนเท้าตายปังรังไอ้กับเพียบบ่อาเซียนไอ้บ้านไอ้ขยมพอดอลขยมบ้านสตัมเนื้อสะสมได้คนสานได้ให้ขยมก็เลิกจมหน่อยนั่งได้เท้ามาตรอเมียนปัญหาม้วยไทรเซนเทียรอต่งอ่อนที่คือการจมูกขี้นี้บอลเพียบจมูกขี้นี้ต่อเดียตื้อกลมร้องจำเมียนปัญหาม้วยนั่งอ่ะเซียนท่าเซียนเป็นปัญหาต่างอ่อนหรืออ่อนที่ถึงเชิงเรียงเสียงในการปีกอดเชิงเถิดเกิดท่าอ่ะเซียนปลุนไอ้ทางไอ้นี่เปรี้ยนี่เมียนปัญหามียันมาที่ปัญหาไตขนมบ่าเซียนปัญหาเหมือนแม่เรื่องไตขนมสตีบ่า
มันแม่ตีขนมสตีคือวิเปะปอนดังมหาไหนมันอาได้ไปจากบอลนี่จังอาเซียนเทยไต่ผมเรื่องมาจากที่ปลุนไอ้ไอ้มาโกกาครืออาเซียนดับใบเพียบเรื่องมอมหายดับลาเพียบฉมวยขี้ชลมเชยขี้เจ้ากรรมชีพการเจ้าของมันนักนงสันระทะบาสระบอไอ้ดำดักฟีจ้าดักยำโยมอ่านคือบานเลือกให้ในโยบายกาบอเตชมรอปัวสารดำเร็กก็ยืงรอบอ่านจีมหามนาจตัวสกอร์จีมหามนาตีมวยจันจิมบดแพะได้ไทยจปอนโกเรคือยืงจีนในโยบายกาบอเตได้ยืงตัวตัวแต่งออกสำหรับพาวิยาวนั่งบีบอลเพียงออกเนี่ยแม้ตัวให้รุมคานเกรุมคานไอ้ที่อากาศนั้นถอยชี้เวียงบ้าถอยชี้เวียงที่ปีบานเลือกหายไตรมาตราสอยมุ้ยสอยตะมุ้ยที่ผมย่อวิธีซะไตรมาตราสอยมุ้ยสอยอ๋อลิงแต่งโยบายตีขนมแต่งโยบายอันตรายจิตบ้าผู้เทศนาขมายชราอันฟ้าหนึ่งจะไงบานยมเลือกจันมาการปีเชียบก็ไรเธอแต่พระโกลกาชบับอันตรายจิตที่หอท่าการไหนจุ่มลูกสมมติเช่นทางทบูงการไหนจุ่มลูกได้ได้เซิงตีดชบับอันตรายจิตการปีเชียบานฉลองกัดรวยหายการไหนภาษาเปรียบเหี้ยคือชบับอันตรายจิตถึงพระเตยมีนสกไดสกในโยบายอันตรายจิตนั่งอารามออกเนี่ยรถตะรอปีนาช่วยเกมช่วยได้รถตะรออาเซียนรถตะรออังกาสับจีดยูเอ็นไอซีไอจีดามกับรถมาเซียนจะลายล้างการเชียร์ทางอาซีเจลังเวงตังบอสไลชนำปีปอนดับบุญได้ปลอดลังเวงให้บอกยังมันมันมาสมาคุณมาสามารถจะนัดเทียบไปหาเองที่นี่ตัวตีสกามนักน้องโยบายอันตรายจีดนั่งบันบักการเชียร์เทอร์ไต้ผงเรืองเดียดสมาคุณ Thank you very much, uh, Excellency Dr. Yongpo, for your insightful presentations. Uh, he has highlighted a lot about the Cambodian, a Cambodian perspective on uh, uh, geopolitical competitions. Uh, he also highlights uh, how small country like Cambodia as well as ASEAN, we don't want to be uh, forced to choose to take sides. We want to accommodate all superpower. We want to live together uh, peacefully, coexist uh, peacefully with harmony among nations. We welcome all initiative or strategies or framework that can be very complementary, not to compete each other as small country. Thank you very much, uh, Excellency Dr. Yongpo. The second speakers, I would like to call upon the, Mr. C. Wei Wei, Director of the Political Office of the Chinese Embassy in Cambodia. Please join me to welcome him. Okay, our rooms was day. Chepatom, Kyom Som Korop, Autom Pontet. ยมเปอร์อาเกลเลคาติกาในริปอนเตอร์สัพเพียกามจีเจติโกรบให้สมโกรบเอาตรงปอนเตอร์กัมพีนประเทียมวิทิสทันถมยาถมน้องอันตร
អឺស្រប្រហែលប្រហែលគ្នានៅក្នុងសង្គមអាស៊ីប្រពីរអឺ Hai hai bang club grey crow. Hai chin mean corbom long chung mean api wak no ain. Hai nung ko chung kun yat to te mean ka api wak room chimukni. Ani chia corbom no repos dos mo repopper te chung hai nipo chia chung chung. Hai ani ko chia mool hai nye corbom long dos mo repo tui kum dup tam kasai koramui nipo mui. ហើយនិយាយអំពីនិយាយអំពីគំនិតផ្ទុយផ្ដាំខ្សែក្រមួយនៅផ្លូវមួយខ្ញុំសូមបញ្ជាក់ថាចាប់ពីតជាប់ដ
economic zone in the Pacific province. a stadium and expert away from Phnom Penh to Pacific Nu as well as and water supply in the rural area, the road in the rural area, schools and so on in the countryside. These are the achievement. I mean, the actual achievement in the cooperation I mean, uh, with high quality between Cambodia and China uh, and of the you know, and Road uh, initiative. Uh, currently, uh, Cambodia, you know, is uh, in a, a key phase in, you know, restoring and developing our economy, society, that the right government of Cambodia, you know, has been, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I achieve the uh, uh, national strategy to develop economy and uh, society. So this is a good opportunity for you know both sides to uh, connect uh, with each other to you know, to focus on you know the key priority uh, in order to achieve uh, the development together. Uh, the whole of them. Uh, Currently, uh, the uh, this international situation is, uh, you know, complicated. Say, uh, the uh, the global economy also has a uh, many worsen, and the security uh, seem to be you know, complicated, and and even the you know uh, uh, food security also have problem. In the meantime, we have to uh, uh, we can see that the general uh, situation. Uh, uh, we can uh, maintain some uh, uh, stability and in uh, economic in integration in the region uh, has also evolved. Uh, confronting uh, the issue and challenges, the cooperation uh, uh, can you know, be maintained in a, a good phase uh, for the you know uh, uh, I mean uh, balanced you know development. And one more point is that we also uh, set up you know a, a cooperation framework. This is a uh, step by step and also the network one uh, that this you know framework can get the uh, balance because uh, we uh, adhere to uh, centrality of ASEAN and also the uh, patient for the benefit uh, uh, for every side uh, in accordance with the actual condition in the region. Uh, the <clears throat> atmosphere you know of security and cooperation is you know good world development and also uh, promote the uh, uh, stability in the region is the key, you know, uh, an urgent task for every nation. Not only uh, the main uh, they they from inside or outside the region, uh, every country, you know, need should to uh, adhere to um, mutual respect and also cooperation uh, for mutual benefit and also uh, create the, you know, um, an openness and uh, patience uh, for preventing uh, of any disaster uh, and also uh, achieve the uh, peace and stability in the region. In 2022, Cambodia is a uh, chairman of uh, uh, ASEAN and also uh, got a lot of fruitful achievement, I mean, a, not in a noticeable achievement in the name of the uh, iron nuclear uh, friend. Uh, we provided, you know, uh, support uh, and also the uh, power for the Cambodia. In the name of the member of the uh, region, China, also, uh, I mean, I have, uh, you know, I mean, the cooperate uh, with the Asian centrality, provide, you know, the cooperation uh, and led by the Asian and, uh, come and support Asian to uh, play the role I mean, a stronger role in the, you know, uh, promoting the uh, security and also the stability in the region. And I would like to welcome, you know, uh, every partner, you know, dialogue country and outside the region of ASEAN to participate actively in the cooperation uh, in order to uh, get the, you know, constructive uh, construction uh, for the region. Uh, the whole meeting, I would like, uh, next year is 2023. There is the anniversary of the 65th anniversary of the uh, diplomatic relation with Cambodia. 
and also the friend uh, leave, um, sorry for company in China as well. We will take the opportunity to enhance the cooperation uh, between all, all sector to be more commercial and also uh, the bear road needs to be more high quality and also uh, one, uh, you know, community board destiny uh, to be more, you know, close, uh, to be uh, closer. And we also feel free to collaborate with other country outside inside the region and uh, provide, uh, you know, uh, 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 the implementation of the initiative uh, and to, uh, you know, enhance the uh, high quality uh, cooperation uh, for the Bell and Road Initiative and also uh, and, uh, promote the cooperation for mutual benefit and also the perspective of Indo-Pacific that uh, respond to the uh, challenges, uh, the global challenges uh, through the uh, cooperation uh, to get, you know, uh, to, to get the uh, uh, benefit for the people and the region. Thank you very much. ម៉ាអរគុណច្រើនលោកសីវ័យវ័យដែលអ្នកបានផ្ដល់នៅចំណាត់ទៅលើការអភិវឌ្ឍ <coughs> Help other country to to develop. We grow together. Thank you very much. Uh, I now uh, allow me to invite uh, Mr. Fudoshi uh, Nishimoto, first secretary of Japan Embassy in Cambodia. The floor is yours. Please. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. Um, the first of all, uh, congratulations for uh, uh, Royal Academy of Cambodia to organize uh, uh, such a great occasion, great, great conference. And uh, um, I'm very much look forward to uh, exchange the views in this conference. And um, today, I'm delighted to be part of this conference today. Uh, in today's presentation, ah, sorry, uh, my name is uh, Futoshi Nishimoto from Embassy of Japan. Yes, I'm, today I'm representing my embassy, but uh, uh, my presentation is, contains uh, uh, some of my personal views, so please do not quote in the press outlets. Thank you. And uh, uh, in today's presentation, um, I'm hoping to give you an overview of the recent updates of Japan's cooperation with the ASEAN outlook of the on, of the Indo-Pacific. Do you know, uh, you know, uh, AOIP. Um, Japan submitted the, the progress report on its AOIP cooperation uh, to the uh, 25th ASEAN-Japan summit, uh, which I uh, held last month. So today uh, I'd like to talk in line with the, that progress report. So uh, before highlighting some of the projects, I'd like to touch on how the cooperation developed during the past years. So uh, can you give the uh, uh, next slide, please move to next slide. Or, uh, uh, yes, um, so, you know, uh, ASEAN is located at the center of Asia Pacific and the Indian Ocean regions. Uh, these areas high, have high potential for economic growth as well as security challenges with growing geopolitical tensions. Uh, the ASEAN leaders uh, adopted the AOIP in 2019 to take leads in promoting economic and security cooperation in these regions. AOIP sets forth ASEAN's centrality and unity as its guiding principle in the regions. 
So, you know, uh, Japan also uh, uh, put forth uh, the FOIP, Japan's vision of FOIP, uh, uh, free and open Indo-Pacific visions. So in, in 2016, so uh, when uh, we saw uh, ASEAN uh, adopted the, its own uh, vision for uh, Indo-Pacific, so we are very pleased uh, uh, to find the friends in this region. So um, then in the same year, at, uh, in 19, uh, sorry, 20, uh, 2019, at the uh, 22nd ASEAN Japan Summit, uh, Japan and the Japan and ASEAN confirmed that they share the view to promote a rule-based Indo-Pacific region that is free and open, embraces key ASEAN principles such as ASEAN unity and centrality, inclusiveness, transparency, and complements ASEAN community building process. So Japan was the first among the ASEAN dialogue partners to express its full support for the AOIP and has been its steadfast supporter. You see, uh, in 2020, at the 23rd ASEAN-Japan Summit meeting, ASEAN and Japan's leaders issued a joint statement on cooperation on AOIP, and in which uh, the leaders uh, noted uh, both AOIP and Japan's FOIP concept shared the uh, relevant fundamental uh, principles in promoting peace and cooperation. So that is uh, not Japan, only Japan uh, says uh, by itself, uh, we support AOIP ASEAN. No, uh, Japan and ASEAN uh, share the view. And so in, In 2020, Japan and ASEAN issued the. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so I say uh, joint statements of the uh, on cooperation on ASEAN outlook on the Indo Pacific. Uh, it confirmed their commitments in supporting ASEAN community building and further enhancing the ASEAN-Japan strategic partnership for peace, stability, and uh, prosperity in the regions. Also in this joint statement, Japan and ASEAN committed to working closely to strengthen the partnership through enhanced cooperation and synergy in the four areas outlined in the AOIP, namely uh, in, this pre uh, present in this slide, uh, maritime cooperation, connectivity, and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 20, uh, 2030 and economic and other possible areas of cooperation. So uh, Japan uh, committed uh, to cooperate with ASEAN uh, on mainly on these four uh, priority areas of cooperation. So now uh, uh, I like to uh, move to the, uh, I like to highlight some of these projects. So, and uh, last month, uh, Japan uh, submitted a report. And in that, uh, to, we calculated now uh, 89 projects in total uh, we cooperate for AOIP. So, uh, the, in that, uh, 73 existing projects, uh, ongoing projects, and 16 additional projects. And so now uh, I like to talk about uh, maritime cooperation, highlights of maritime cooperation. First, uh, maritime cooperation is one of the key areas of cooperation identified in AOIP. In order to address maritime issues, including maritime disputes, unsustainable exploitation of maritime resources and maritime pollution, Japan and ASEAN work together through a variety of initiatives. And uh, safety of navigation at sea is a vital element for the sustainability of shipping to link ASEAN with the rest of the world. 
Uh, can you see this uh, slide? So we see uh, uh, the shipment container throughput of Southeast Asian container port system uh, the uh, increase year by year. That means so the uh, shipping in the Southeast Asia is more and more important recently. But uh, and on the other hand, you see uh, in this uh, global map, so the uh, Southeast Asia is uh, one of the hot spots. Uh, it means uh, the uh, one in the fifth, uh, one in the five incidents, one in the uh, five uh, vessel incidents occurred in uh, Southeast Asia, Asian uh, waters. So this is a very dangerous and uh, hot spot. So uh, Japan uh, provides, uh, uh, Japan has been assisting the development for uh, vessel traffic services, human resources and facilities, which control maritime traffic and provide traffic information. So we train, uh, we uh, cooperate in training experts of the uh, traffic, uh, vessel traffic controls. And also uh, we provide the, uh, reflecting the increase of maritime traffic and the use of maritime resources. Uh, now there is a growing demand for legal experts. So Japan cooperates in enhancing capacities of experts in public international law, especially of the law of the sea and the peace for settlement of disputes. This is a, a, legal, a, a legal area of the cooperation. And uh, now uh, maritime mar uh, environmental protection is another urgent issue. So Japan implements a couple of projects focused on maritime plastic debris reduction in ASEAN countries' waters. So um, Japan mainly uh, implements uh, five area of cooperation. And uh, you see uh, in this uh, bar chart, so the um, Asia, uh, uh, except for China or India, China and India, uh, Asia still uh, uh, still 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 disposed a lot of uh, waste not properly managed. You see, so we like to uh, realize uh, we like to realize a, a circular plastic society. So you see in the um, left images, left charts. So now most of the uh, plastic garbage uh, should be uh, disposed. So no use, but uh, we like to realize the circular plastic society. So we try to um, reduce the uh, waste and try to circulate, to regenerate, reuse the, to the uh, plastic uh, products again. So um, we uh, cooperate in this area, uh, marine plastic debris. So, and uh, now uh, I move to the uh, connectivity area. And uh, <clears throat> connectivity is a key to narrowing the development gaps within the ASEAN and supporting deeper integration of ASEAN community. So Japan consistently supports ASEAN's efforts to strengthen its con connectivity for years. Um, Japan cooperates in enhancing land, sea, and air corridor connectivity through inf infrastructure and human development, human resource development. And in Cambodia, uh, Japan supports Shihanukville port developments. One of the focus is to make the port deeper by dredging sand, dredging sand in the ports. So currently the port, Shihanukville port can accommodate only 18% of ships in the Asian Pacific region. But when the deep sea port is completed as uh, expected in uh, 2025, 
93% of uh, ships in this region can be docked in Cambodia. So that means it helps makes the port a key logistical hub for Cambodia and also the wider Mekong regions. Also, uh, you know, uh, this is a map from JICA uh, ODA projects. So it's a, a yellow belt show that uh, Japan uh, has been uh, supporting the improvement of national roads number one and number five, uh, which connects Phnom Penh with uh, Vietnam and uh, Thailand. It's, it's also uh, for uh, uh, con uh, enhancing uh, Cambodian connectivity. And uh, uh, next one, uh, this is also a connectivity project. Uh, Japan efforts on the urban issues is another, uh, a joint effort on uh, urban issues is another focus of connectivity. The urban share of the ASEAN popula population continues to increase. Uh, this is a bar chart by country, uh, the share of the urban population uh, by country uh, in uh, ASEAN countries, ASEAN. So you see, uh, Singapore, 100% uh, of people, uh, they live in the urban area. But you see, uh, the Cambodia, uh, still uh, 2015, uh, just 22% of the population, uh, national population, uh, is in the uh, urban area. So other part, 78% in the rural area. But uh, it's increasing, it's increasing. In the total of the uh, ASEAN uh, member states, so now uh, we almost already uh, half of the population live in the uh, urban area. So now uh, getting more and more urban population. So naturally, uh, we have a, a, a urbanization when poorly planned can lead to city congestions. You know, every day we see uh, many traffic congestion in this uh, city, and also uh, water and air pollution, security and safety problems, and the increased in inequalities. Yes, so we need to join the efforts to address these issues. So Japan cooperates with uh, ASCN, means uh, ASEAN Smart City Network. So Japan cooperates with ASEAN Smart City Network in smart city development to address urban issues uh, through digital in infrastructure, sharing information and the good practices. We also cooperate in this uh, area. And now uh, I move to, uh, yes, people-to-people uh, -people connectivity. People-to-people um, -people exchange is another priority of connectivity. Uh, Japan welcomed almost 15,000 young people from ASEAN countries since uh, 20, uh, 2015 through the Genesis program. Uh, we hope Genesis helps deepen understanding of Japan and build a basis for future friendship and cooperation. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, inbound exchange has been suspended, but we expect it will resume soon. And there is also a Asia Kakehashi project, which invites high school students for short-term study in Japan. And now I move to the uh, United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals. So thirdly, Japan cooperates with the ASEAN to achieve the uh, UN SDGs with special emphasis on response to COVID-19, disaster management, and the food systems and the crime preventions. Uh, this is the one of the uh, cooperation, uh, a plan of establishing the ASEAN Center for Public Health Emergencies and Emerging Disease. Uh, we call it ACPID. ACPID was announced at the ASEAN Japan Summit in 2020 to build ASEAN's capacity in response to public health emergencies. The Secretary of this was launched in August 2022 in Bangkok, and Japan also started to provide training programs on public health emergencies and emerging disease to health officers from Asian countries. And uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, food systems. 
And sustainable food systems are among the key uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, farmers in Asian countries are facing a number of challenges, including small farm sizes, uh, limited access to the markets, uh, changeable weather, and rising import, uh, input costs. So Japan supports ASEAN countries to introduce sustainable agricultural practices utilizing digital tools and technologies. And uh, uh, the lastly, Japan supports economic measures in ASEAN countries with emphasis on digital economy and the cyber security. Uh, yeah, this is the ASEAN Japan Economic Resilience Action Plan. Uh, ASEAN and the Japan's uh, economic ministers adopted the action plan uh, two years ago and to mitigate adverse impacts brought on by uh, the COVID-19 outbreak. Now this is project is running. And also uh, we cooperate in the cyber issues. So uh, ASEAN and, the, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, ASEAN Japan Cyber Security Capacity Building Center was established in uh, 2018 to contribute to human resource development on cyber security in ASEAN countries. The center provides training on cyber defense, uh, digital forensics, and malware analysis for government officials. Um, over 800 participants completed the training on training course online and on-site by 2022. Already uh, 800 people completed uh, training. And uh, uh, that's the uh, last slides. So the ways forward um, for peace, stability, and prosperity across the region, uh, Japan considers that promoting the rule of law, improving quantity of life and ensuring maritime stability uh, should be pursued alongside the promotion of economic prosperity through enhancing community. So Japan's uh, vision of uh, free and open Indo-Pacific uh, focuses on connectivity and the free trade. But today I didn't talk about the free trade, but we also uh, emphasize uh, the cooperation on free trade, uh, mainly in terms of institute, institutionalized uh, aspects. And uh, uh, Japan's cooperation with AOIP is underpinned by a balance of between fundamental principles and uh, concrete actions. We do not only talk, we do not only uh, say uh, it uh, should be entailed by practices. It should be by uh, 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 followed by uh, accompanied by uh, uh, tangible outcomes. So they are inseparable. So it's crucial to put both in place together. And uh, uh, finally, Japan continues to contribute to the ASEAN community building process um, through enhancing economic integration and COVID connectivity. Ah, that's uh, that my uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Fudoshi Nishimoto, for your insightful presentation. You highlight Japan cooperation with Asian outlook on Indo-Pacific, and you uh, also highlight Japan support for ASEAN centrality, uh, solidarity, and unity, and highlight uh, 89 projects for uh, AOIP and some projects uh, in Cambodia as well. As we can see that uh, under the uh, framework of Indo-Pacific uh, in uh, 2019, ASEAN adopt uh, its own outlook on Indo-Pacific the outlook uh, take ASEAN centrality as a key underlying principle for promotion and cooperation in Indo-Pacific regions. With ASEAN led uh, mechanisms such as uh, its ASEAN summit, uh, so as platform for dialogue and implementations of uh, Indo-Pacific cooperation. And we are so happy to hear that our uh, partners, 
Asian partner uh, has a goodwill intention to uh, develop our region and uh, they are very complimentary and we hope uh, we can live together with harmony, we can uh, uh, exist, coexist uh, peacefully. Okay, so the last but not least, uh, may I invite uh, Mr. Sangduk, Minister Councillor of the Embassy of the Republic of Korea. The floor is yours, please. Thank you, Dr. Kim Pia. Uh, my name is uh, Na Sangduk. I'm a Minister Councillor of the Korean Embassy. Uh, I'm happy to invite you again uh, in the Royal Academy of Cambodia. Uh, I gladly remember last year's fruitful discussion. Uh, Dr. Kim Pia, uh, one of the prominent scholars in this field, he did a great job in moderating. And he was very good at uh, generating discussions. Uh, I regret uh, that I cannot attend the meeting in person because of my personal health issues, but um, it is my pleasure to uh, discuss together with you all. And then please note that my presentation is uh, some of my presentation, my personal observation, and then it's not related with the official position of my government. Uh, in my presentation today, uh, I'd like to touch upon firstly um, the relations, the dynamics between uh, Indo-Pacific strategy and Belt and Road Initiative. And then secondly, then what the ASEAN can do and what is ASEAN is doing in response to uh, different uh, outside initiatives. And then lastly, uh, I'm going to introduce a uh, Korean version of Indo-Pacific strategy and then Korea's new policy towards ASEAN, uh, which is called CASI, Korea ASEAN Solidarity Initiatives. Uh, firstly, uh, the competition between uh, Indo-Pacific strategy and uh, Belt and Road Initiatives. Uh, it is needless to say uh, the importance of Indo-Pacific region. More than 65% of the world population live in this region. And then also more than 60% of global GDP is produced. And then half of the maritime transportation path through this region. So um, this region is really keen and crucial uh, for the survival and then prosperity of Korea, as well as many other countries. Uh, firstly, in the Pacific region, uh, actually a number of countries have already announced um, uh, their own Indo-Pacific strategy. It is a theme of academic interest. And then uh, the architecture of the Indo-Pacific strategy is still being evolved. And then uh, what is interesting is each country visualizes a different perspective uh, of the geographical scope, scope of Indo-Pacific. But we can find some commonalities of those strategies. Uh, Indo-Pacific strategy claims a free and open Indo-Pacific based on shared values, uh, such as rule-based order, freedom of navigation, and respect for liberal values. So it seems like IPS is going to provide public goods in this region and promote shared values. But uh, however, it has some uh, argument or um, criticism that um, Indo-Pacific strategy is designed as a countermeasure to Belt and Road Initiative to counter the China's growing political and economic influences. Uh, in contrast to uh, Indo-Pacific strategy, uh, China is carrying out a Belt and Road Initiative. It is on China's externally oriented infrastructure uh, project. So it takes the form of bilateral negotiation with the partner countries. So the policies are different from country to country on a on a case by case basis. Then, and then uh, I'm not sure how the dynamics between Indo-Pacific strategy and uh, Belt and Road the Road Initiative will play out. Many literature on the dynamics between the, those two strategy and initiative they give us a rather gloomy picture. Uh, as Dr. Yang Ku, he has already, already explained in his presentation, uh, the widespread current dominant uh, narrative on the dynamics is that uh, geo, the geopolitical uh, tension, competition will go up, and then uh, another new Cold War is likely to happen in this place. And then as it happens, ASEAN stands in the middle of in the battleground of the uh, competing initiatives. And then ASEAN will face a moment of truth. 
or which on which side to take in the future. But um, I'm I'm not uh, totally in agreement with this um, uh, narratives. Uh, we uh, of course I understand that uh, the intense competition is running counter the counter to the regional stability, but we can find some different uh, points that can give us some slightly different viewpoints. Uh, uh, Indo-Pacific strategy is a more value-oriented approach, whereas uh, Belt and Road Initiative is more economic-centered approach. And then uh, the first one provides us public goods. The second one pro is providing infrastructure. So they are slightly uh, standing on a different dimension. And then when we compare uh, the current uh, competition with that of the Cold War era, uh, we can find some differences. Uh, firstly, the economic connectivity uh, is much higher, is much, much higher than the Cold War period. So it means we have too much to lose if the uh, competition is too much going up. And then secondly, the ideological competition is not as strong as that of the Cold War period. And then uh, the US and China, uh, they continue strategic communication, and then they still have their dialogue channel open. Uh, actually, they are managing the relationship. So I can, I would like to define the relationship as being uh, competitive rather than conflictual. Uh, so my um, argument on this part is that um, uh, black and white uh, style approach is neither possible nor desirable. So what is important is uh, we need to make efforts to mitigate uh, the Jerusalem perspectives. Um, on, in, on the, under this situation, uh, ASEAN has been carrying out its own uh, job in, in mitigating the tensions. Uh, in response to various outside initiatives, ASEAN has proposed ASEAN Outlook on Indo-Pacific, AOIP. Also ASEAN advances uh, ASEAN centrality, and then it supports open and inclusive multilateralism, rule-based regional order. And then ASEAN has been making progress in regional integrations. So uh, I would like to propose, suggest as a vision of ASEAN, as a bridge builder or balancer in the midst of the geo geopolitical tension. In order to achieve this, ASEAN has um, not only tools, but also challenges. As for the tools, um, ASEAN has convening power. Uh, last month, I attended uh, for the first time in person to the ASEAN summit here in Cambodia. Uh, and then I was very uh, surprised to see that ASEAN is providing a very useful platform uh, to mitigate the major power rivalry. Having kind of an annual forum where you can invite all the leaders to discuss regional and global issues, issues is already a big step forward. And then secondly, ASEAN has been making progress in integration. Economic uh, RCEP uh, has been signed and ratified. And then ASEAN is also making progress in political and social integrations. Uh, some say the integration process is very slow, but I would like to say it is very steady. It is a step-by-step -step approach. And then another um, point I want to mention is that the non-alignment policy. Uh, non-alignment non policy is one of the key features of ASEAN foreign policy. But attending last month's ASEAN summit, I thought different. Um, ASEAN has taken a more nuanced approach to non-alignment policy. There are so many partner countries, and then ASEAN has its own relationship, relationship with each of its partners. It's rather uh, multi-alignment rather than non-alignment. And then um, lastly, hedging strategy is also uh, useful for ASEAN. Uh, diversifying the relationship with middle power countries like Korea is a good option. And then um, <clears throat> but still, ASEAN has many challenges. Um, I know that there are voices uh, coming from inside the ASEAN that ASEAN is divided. And then uh, the current consensus-based decision-making system is slow and then it's not as much efficient 
as to respond uh, to outside changes. And then uh, AOIP, uh, although it was uh, already pronounced, but it's nothing but a declaration. And then operationalizing the AOIP is a, a task, a big challenges. But uh, what I want to say in this part is, um, although ASEAN has many um, tools and challenges, but uh, ASEAN uh, has the potential to be another polar polarity or another block if it remains a, a cohesive organization and then issues leadership in international issues. So ASEAN has the task of proving itself in terms of capability and credibility of the organizations. Uh, I would like to move on to the last part of my pre presentation. I mentioned uh, diversification of the relationship uh, with middle power countries. Um, Korea is a very a good partner in this case. Uh, Korea pre Korean President Yoon Seok Yeol, uh, he announced Korean version of Indo-Pacific strategy and then uh, Korea's ASEAN Solidarity Initiative, Korea's new policy towards ASEAN in last month's ASEAN summit. Uh, he announced the vision and principle of Korea's Indo-Pacific strategy. And then the detailed cooperation programs are being drafted in the home government. Sooner or later, we will announce them. Uh, then uh, if I introduce the, the visions and principles of the strategy, there are three visions. Free, uh, firstly, freedom. We support rule of law, rule-based international order. We oppose unilateral use of force to change the status quo. Uh, second, peace. Uh, preventing disputes and armed conflicts, and then peaceful resolution of disputes through dialogue is the primary concern. And then third uh, vision is prosperity. Uh, we aim to attain uh, prosperous Indo-Pacific through an open and fair economic order, and then we want to expand networks for economic security. Uh, as for the principles, uh, there are three. Uh, firstly, inclusiveness. We neither target nor exclude any particular country. And then second, uh, trust, making a, tr a reliable partnership based on trust. And then a third one is reciprocity. Uh, we aim to achieve mutually beneficial cooperation. Um, the fact that uh, Korean government has announced this policy in the ASEAN meeting, ASEAN-led forum, not in any other cases. This shows how then Korean government is framing this policy. Uh, ASEAN stands in the epicenter of Korea's, Korea's Indo-Pacific strategy. And then the cooperation with ASEAN is of paramount importance. Under this line, uh, my president also announced Korea's new policy towards ASEAN, uh, KASI, Korea ASEAN Solidarity Initiative, and then we used to have a new southern policy in the previous government, uh, but they are not totally different. Uh, the new policy is upgrading and strengthening our uh, the current approach to ASEAN. Uh, but we can find some differences uh, uh, from uh, the CASI and then the NSP, the previous one. Uh, as for the CASI, we uh, want to achieve more comprehensive uh, corporations, including military, and then uh, economic and also diplomatic. Um, we propose to regular, regularize the defense minister's meeting, and then we are going to reactivate uh, Korea-ASEAN strategic dialogue, which have been dormant for the past year, several years because of the COVID. And then we want to uh, aim at a tailored cooperation with ASEAN. So main, the main areas of cooperation will be maritime governance, uh, non-traditional security, uh, digitalization, and climate change, uh, and then others. These are the main areas that ASEAN is proposing to cooperate with partners, so we can find more synergy in these areas. And then my government will go, will be uh, doubling our financial contribution for this policy up to 2027. And then uh, we also propose to uh, establish a comprehensive strategic partnership with ASEAN, 
uh, which is the highest level of cooperation with partner countries in the year 2024. Uh, the year marks uh, 35th anniversary of uh, dialogue relationship with Korea and, and ASEAN. Um, I'd like to conclude my presentation uh, by saying that um, uh, deeper partnership with middle power countries like Korea uh, will be beneficial. And then we have a huge potential uh, for this. And then personally, I think um, ASEAN countries are very attractive place to work as a Korean diplomat because we uh, see many developments in bilateral relations, and then there are so many cooperation programs, so the experience is really rewarding. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm ready to uh, discuss further. Uh, thank you. Um, Mr. Sangduk, uh, yeah share us uh, his uh, personal observation on uh, BOI and Indo-Pacific uh, Indo uh, competition. And he highlighted that we would, there would be much to lose if the competition is uh, going off. And he also highlighted some suggestion in order as the end to mitigate uh, the grid power competition as well. And he also introduced the new initiative, uh, Republic of Korea news initiative is called Korea Asian Solidarity Initiative. And we hope that uh, through this new initiative, uh, 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 Korea Asian uh, cooperation and, and adolescent would be sanctioned and uh, would be uh, very uh, mutually uh, beneficial for the two parties. So uh, thank you for the all speakers. Uh, now we uh, have uh, around uh, 30 minutes for Q&A session. So we are uh, encouraging our uh, participants here to propose a question. So I have some short rule for uh, Q&A session. You have to introduce yourself as a specific question address directly to a panelist you want to ask and avoid long comments. I would give you only one minute for your questions. So please, the floor is, yes. So, yes. បាទជាបន្ថំខ្ញុំបាទសូមគ្រប់ថ្លែងអំណរគុណយ៉ាងជាជ្រើចំពោះរីកពុទ្ធសភាកម្ពុជាក៏ដូចជាវិស័យ <coughs> ពលរដ្ឋវិញទៅជាជាតិនិយមឬមួយក៏សម្ព័ន្ធភាពនិយមច្រើនជាង <coughs> Dương chỉ đẹp thôi con dấu bái, không niêm chỉ đẹp đặc nôm dấu bái. Ta dương trở thơ dàng na đàm bây thiên niên nữ tu nhật ti đó xe một khăn bọc hoàng ca sạp tự chiếc làng vĩnh. Có đôi chi công ôi bọn đạp bật tích tối tạc, khai tự chi chồng nắp măng nữ dấu bái. Nì dư tật xa nữ dấu bái đó bọc hàm này cho bọc con chả. Xem nua, xem nua bọn tàu vẹt khám hình hà đáy bà. So I, I think all our speakers uh, can catch up uh, his question. So the question uh, is for all speakers. I would like to invite Excellency Dr. Yongpo first and followed by uh, uh, our panelists from uh, Chinese Embassy and Japan and the last uh, speakers from uh, the uh, Embassy of the Republic of Korea. Yes, please. Bà, à con 
ដោយសម្រាប់ទាំងនោះនេះបាទហើយអាចដំសម្រាប់ពួកដល់ខ្ញុំមុនគេបាទគាត់សម្គាល់របស់គាត់ឃើញថាឥឡូវនេះទួល
uh, neutral in standing in the neutral position, and then it can work as a mediator. And then it also can emphasize the observance of the international law. But the, the thing is the UN has some limits um, because UN is basically an organization uh, composed of uh, cons consisting of the member states. So the member states are actually the very um, components that makes the decision of the UN. So let's say the major powers, uh, they disagree, and then we can observe them in the Security Council's resolution, and they make uh, vetoes, and then, but um, uh, what is good is that uh, you have made another system. If the, uh, uh, like, let's say, permanent members of Security Council, uh, they vote vetoes, then uh, uh, the UN is uh, having another session in the General Assembly to all the member states, and then uh, we discuss the issues as well. It's like uh, constraining the use of veto powers in the Security Council. Then by that way, we can make uh, like steady incremental changes, progress, and in, in, you know, in getting the support from uh, major powers. That would be my comment on this question. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Zhangdo. I think maybe uh, I, 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 I want to have a question too with regard to the new initiative of uh, Republic of Korea. So as I know that the, the, the first term of Mu Jae-in president, uh, Mu Jae-in supports this uh, Southern policy and then the new Southern policy. And now it's come to uh, the new president come up with the new initiative. So, how do you think about the consistency and sustainability of the uh, Korean uh, foreign policy with this regard? And do you think that the next uh, president will have another initiative uh, for uh, your external relations and cooperation? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kim Pia. Uh, thank you very much for your question. Uh, yes, uh, in the previous government, we have been we have been carrying out new southern policy. Uh, we came to realize the importance of ASEAN as a regional organizations, and then uh, we invested uh, more resources uh, in this for the cooperation with ASEAN. And then my new government, President Yoon Suk Yeol, uh, he proposed KASI Korea ASEAN uh, Solidarity Initiatives, and then it's not. Like the new policy is not totally out of the blue policy. It is the continuation of the our uh, policy towards ASEAN. Uh, as for the uh, consistency, uh, as our ASEAN policy got the bipartisan support within the country. So each government supports our policy towards ASEAN. So, uh, and then we changed the brand name of our policy, but uh, it is the nature of the five year single term presidency. So I'm not sure whether my future uh, government will change the name again, but the main nature and the ba basic idea towards ASEAN will sustain. It will, it will be going. Uh, it is the same, remain the same. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Does it mean that is it the same wine in different uh, bottle, right? I think so, yeah. That would be <laughs> thank, good. Uh, thank good thank you very much. Uh, I would like to give the floor to the uh, participants, yes, uh, that's uh, girls with glass. <laughs> um, first of all, good morning, uh, Your Excellencies, distinguished panelists and all audiences. My name is uh, Ms. Boadalis, a third year student in, internet, in the Institute of International Studies and Public Policy, majoring in international relations. So uh, my question is directly to the representatives of the Japan, Korea, and Chinese embassy. So as we know that in Cambodia porn, foreign policy direction, Cambodia has been very open to welcoming foreign investments. And this is within the path of economic liberalization and uh, free trade agreement. So, and both sides of the economic partnership benefits from this. However, uh, within this partner relationship, I would want to know from the country's representative perspective, please identify the key areas that you have noticed that Cambodia is lacking within the cooperation development and within the implementation of the cooperation plans and uh, that you wish Cambodia would want to do, but would do better. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Very good question. Very good question. So I would like to give the floor to our uh, panelists from Chinese Embassy first, followed by our panelists from Japanese Embassy and concluded by uh, panelists from uh, Republic of Korea Embassy. Yes, please. เอ่อខ្ញុំឆ្លាក់សុំឆ្លៃអឺតោយភាសាខ្មែរទៅបាទអឺអឺសួរអំពីខាងវិស័យអត្តភាពនៃការអភិវឌ្ឍរបស់
So our embassy and uh, business people, uh, Japanese business uh, people, uh, and the uh, made a joint effort with the Cambodian government. Every year we had uh, uh, joint meeting, consultative meeting, how to improve the uh, in, uh, investment and business environment in Cambodia, mm -hmm. mainly focused on uh, uh, institutional uh, issues. So uh, you see, uh, there are a lot of uh, challenges in investments, um, such as including uh, uh, tax or uh, security, safety of the property, or uh, transparency of the uh, legal issues. So uh, every year we discuss with the Cambodian government's officers to how to address these issues and uh, jointly uh, address to uh, the resolve. And uh, you see, so, so far, uh, there are a few uh, major famous Japanese companies invested in Cambodia, but only a small uh, middle-sized company, mainly because uh, such companies, uh, there is a, a, the leadership is a, a generally the one man director. So the decision making is very easy for them. Okay, we decide to invest in uh, Cambodia, it's okay. But the big company has uh, uh, many legal and procedural uh, to decide uh, investment and they, uh, should consider about compliances, um, how to manage, uh, sus uh, how to sustain their businesses here as long as possible. But uh, you see, uh, the good signs uh, uh, the last month uh, when our prime minister came here and uh, uh, witnessed uh, the MOU between uh, Toyota. You, do you know Toyota, uh, the car company? Yeah, they uh, decided to invest and they opened the factory here in Cambodia. That is, a, uh, I think, a good uh, signs for uh, now they decided, okay, the, uh, the Cambodia uh, investment uh, environment, Cambodia is very improving and uh, good for investment. So they decided, okay. So now uh, I think uh, the, the uh, Im uh, investment environment is greatly improved and in the future, the more. And also, sorry, uh, the, can I uh, answer to the, the first questions about the uh, UN? So um, my, my personal view is uh, Japan also addressing the uh, reforming, UN reform. So the the counselor, uh, the Korean uh, Korean um, deputy, uh, he mentions. So the um, United Nations, uh, especially the Security Council, now uh, uh, do not work effectively to collectively address uh, regional and international issues. So we need to reform. We call uh, calling for uh, re uh, Security Council's reform uh, for many years. Mm. So to 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 collect it more more effectively address to the uh, regional issues. Okay, uh, that's it. Oh, thank you. Thank thank you very much, Mr. Futoshi Nishimoto. Now, more questions? Yes. Please, uh, that uh, man, uh, yes, yes, with the, the white, the white shirt. Yes. No, 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 that, that, that you. Me? Yeah, you can interrupt. Oh, thank you very much. I'm Limin from China, uh, a master's degree candidate of Ro uh, Royal University of uh, Phnom Penh. I have three different questions for three different uh, representatives from three countries' embassies. First question from Mr. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forget to invite uh, 
I forget to invite Mr. Sang. Look, sorry, you, you will have a question after his comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because uh, there, okay. there will be another speaker, Mr. Sang, uh, who has not yet uh, commented on the questions. Sorry. You have questions? Yes. Please. Uh, uh, sorry. You, Doctor. <laughs> uh, no problem. No problem. Thank you, Dr. Kim Pia. Uh, as for the investment and then uh, development of Cambodia, then what it lacks and then what it can do better? Uh, I think that is the question. Uh, I'd like to uh, emphasize three things. Um, the first one is um, uh, Cambodia is a member of RCEP, uh, regional uh, trade organization. And then we signed with uh, Cambodia signed uh, FTA, free trade agreement with Korea. Then the FTA is now uh, in force. Uh, since this month, uh, then uh, I would like to emphasize that Cambodia do much better in, in making a, a legal framework with other countries in, to promote uh, the trade. And then second point is um, to make a very good environment to, in, to attract investment. Uh, the fair and uh, fair legal system is, should be in place in order to enhance the predictability of the investors. Uh, and then Korea, has, has, as it happens, we are the second largest uh, foreign invest, investing countries to Cambodia. Uh, so uh, there are many Korean companies who are interested in investing in Cambodia. So uh, whenever I meet them that um, they, they uh, want to know more clarity and predictability of the government policy. Then if it is in place, then it will boost the foreign investment. Then the last point that I want to mention is uh, human capital. Uh, looking back on the Korea's development, uh, the education was the primary uh, importance, the priority of each family. Although we, the economic situation was not, in, it was not good. So investing more in the human capital will uh, get benefits in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Santos. Please continue your question. Sorry for interrupting. You're welcome. Okay. First question for Mr. Sang from, uh, from Embassy of Republic of Korea. And you have your, um, as the Korea, uh, North Korea launched a few, uh, a few plastic missiles uh, in recent, uh, recent months is a big uh, issue and the crisis is increasing. So it means uh, recently the Korean also uh, have the dual military drills with US. It means the recent Korean policies uh, to solve the uh, North Korea crisis, it doesn't work. What's the new solutions? What's the new policies do the new administration of Korea have? to solve the problem. Thank you very much. This first question. And the second question for the uh, Mr. Futashi san from the uh, Embassy of Japan. My question is, why Japan still not join the one build one load? Is there uh, pressures from the United States? So why, the what are you waiting for? The Japanese government are waiting for when we are joined the one build, one load. This is a question for you. Thank you very much. And the third question is uh, for the Mr. Weiwei. Uh, for Chinese people, I'm also Chinese people. I'm really worried about, not me, just my friends, worried about the safety in the uh, in Cambodia because there, uh, there is human trafficking uh, and internet scamming problems. So what efforts where the embassy to cooperate with the uh, Cambodian government to protect Chinese people's safety. This is also the, uh, also hope the Mr. Mr. Yang to answer the question, how two countries to cooperate together to protect the foreign people's safety because it is a very big issue. Thank you very much. So Thank your your last question directed to two speakers. Yes, okay, from I China see. and Cambodia. I see, yes. I see. Okay, please, uh, Mr. Sando, the floor is yours for the first question. 
Uh, thank you very much for the question. Uh, yes, as you mentioned, uh, North Korea's unification, unlike missile launch in this area, is causing a serious uh, instability of the region. So uh, we, my government is uh, watching this situation with a great concern. And then it's one of the priority issues that uh, not only the Korean government, but also the international community should address together. So uh, against the North Korea's um, provocations, uh, my government has proposed uh, audacious initiative. It is a policy towards North Korea to um, remove the nuclear threats to make the denuclearization of the DPRK. So the audacious initiative means it's actually exchanging uh, the denuclearization of North Korea with economic support. If uh, North Korea come back, comes back to the dialogue uh, table to discuss the, the nuclearization issues, then we can provide economic assistance. So we can make progress in this regard. And then, uh, as the audacious initiative is basically deterring North Korea's provocation, and then we open the diplomacy and dialogue channels. So for this, uh, to make these uh, initiatives uh, a proper result, then we uh, request your support, like also the neighboring countries like China uh, is one of the key uh, countries which can work together for this in this regard. And then there are other countries as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Santos. Mr. Uh, Futoshi, please, the floor is yours. Thank you for the question. Uh, generally, uh, Japan would be happy to cooperate with any countries uh, who can share with us the, uh, the in terms of transparency, accountability of the projects. So far, uh, so as you ask for your questions, so why uh, Japan cannot join the uh, OBOI? So we, uh, so I think uh, Japan uh, see it uh, lack the transparency and accountability at this moment. That's my uh, answer. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Fudishi Nishimoto, for your uh, response to the question. Now, please, Mr. Waiwai. Because my English is not very good, so I choose to uh, answer the question in Khmer to <laughs> ensure my <laughs> my. Uh, okay. On by many pans to on pay ka ka thini sabat phim or po projectional stroke uh, kampuje. Panna learning toy sa tom nia tom nong chen nang kampuje pan lo prasalang hai nang. Mean perjuangan chen kan tai chan mosro mai ring pong snano pong hai nung thu ajivakam rujie thu samrap krom kun chen pong mian chan ba hai an lu nung stan tu chen ban sahaka to just nut chen mui rin o tap people kam chie chie pi se sahaka chen mui เอ่อกระทรวงมหาดไทยเอ่ออากาศน้องการนครปราชญ์เจียกัมพูชาเอ่อตามไปปงรึ่งเกษตรกรรมเปิดแต่การเลือกวิสัยอนุวัชภาพ
Thank you very much, Mr. Huai Wai. Now, the Excellency Dr. Yong Po, please. Ba, a con jasm no, hai chi ni sub chen maurian nai vate, kam chi yung pong, som a con. A knyom, tain tai tai vate chen ko ban ye yung nang nai, ba chuop kal ye lai a ho hai tai, lom ye yung nang. Ba, yung thang mach, kam ao yu mien rup hip, man la o chen tai krao, ku vi koi mong mwa da tang o kri yung nang. A con, a net tam nang sa tan tu chen lo ko ban lo hai. Some can go young Taiban, 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 យើងជំរុញឲ្យមានផ្លូវដើរជំរុញឲ្យ <coughs> បតិតទាំងអស់អញ្ចឹងមកស្រុកខ្មែរក៏ត្រូវសិក្សាស្វែងយល់អំពីចឹងតែតែជួបបញ្ហាមកចំនួនដែរយើងបានដោះស្រាយជាហោហាហើយបញ្ហាតែងតែកាឡើងរវាងការដែលមិនយល់ពីរបៀបរស់នៅនៅក
His Excellency Kai Viria to present the souvenir to our speakers and also moderators. So your name will be called. So first I would like to invite um, Dr. Yong Pao, Secretary General of the Royal Academy of Cambodia. <laughs> 